Hello everybody, it is me Darcy, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another Mustachioed special. Uh, we are back in Murder on the Orient Express, the 2023 release, I believe, and um, we're off to solve some murders on a train with our crack detective, Chris, for which I apologise. Sit back, relax, and enjoy, and we'll catch you at the end. Clap it out. Okay, ready when you are, Chris. Let's solve some murders. Yeah. Or do some mur I, I don't know much about the book. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure it's about solve. <laughs> oh, look. The train is in the snow. We are indeed in, in the snow. Also, here's a fun fact about trains and snow. Yeah. Derailment. Oh, yeah, that's a big problem. Because apparently, even if you've got a giant fucking train, it only takes a small amount of snow on the track to make it go like, Ah, oh, no, I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> that's fair. It makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense. No, it doesn't just... take much to derail a train. Yeah, why? Why do we make trains so derailable? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's actually that's that's the Michael Myers music. <laughs> <laughs> There's a knife on the. What screen. were you trying to go for? I don't know. Maybe something like da na 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 na. The night has passed since the train departs from Istanbul, and it is evening on the second day of the journey, Chris. Ooh. Oh. Look at that guy with his stupid haircut. Orient Express, it's December 6, 2013, and we are on a train because we need to get somewhere fast. It's true. Well, not being derailed. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served, he said. I've been a real prick about it, too. Yeah, you can have this. Oh, okay. Hmm. Not gonna lie, like, I, as far as trains go, that's quite luxurious. It is, it is. I would sit on one of those, like, What is this? That's what? I forgot how to play. Good, excellent. Just power through. Remember, we're looking for mustaches. So always, always keep an eye open for mustache. Apparently, I'm not allowed to go to first class. No, because it's dinner time. You must go to dinner. I would sit on one of those two people couches and not let anyone sit next to me. So just be a dick. Scroll yeah. across it. Yeah. And before you go through that door, look behind you on the cabinet. Is there a mustache? No, there's not. Let's roll. I pressed the correct button. Well done. Stashy. Also, how do you sit in that chair? Which one? That one. It's like pushed up and shoved up against the other. Clearly, with great difficulty. Yeah, I would. <laughs> I would. With a guy, I'm just not designed for trains or planes. It's the guy that told us dinner was served. Excuse me, monsieur. Now that's a mustache. Won't get bored again. No stashes, no stashes. Get out of my way. On. I don't think you're allowed to bust into that. India? Apparently you are. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry. I'm just, I'm, I'm just the guy who's allowed everywhere. Okay, just don't worry. Well, about yes, it. yes. I'm trying to solve stuff. I can go wherever I need to go. Da 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 da. Toilet power. Okay, got nothing there. Let's try this door. Go outside the train. <laughs> <laughs> it appears to be outside of the train. Hmm, there's a mustache. Oh, that's mine. Oh, the rest of the chair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the train's going that fast. <laughs> that guy's dead. Alright. No, no, he's alive. He's just very angry. Would be too. I had a scar on my face like that. Da, 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 little American chef lady. I'm assuming I'm, su I'm supposed to sit. I'm supposed you're supposed to talk to that guy. This guy? Yes. Oh. With his big chin and his not mustached ways. Now that's a man who shaves every day versus a man who doesn't shave every day. Yes.
Yes. We are on the Orient Express. There shall be a murder. Don't you worry. We'll kill them all if we have to. We shall. I think we have to. Okay. Get, get the steak knife ready. We'll derail the train. <laughs> no, the snow's going to take care of that. We oh, don't, okay. okay, don't got to worry about the train derailment. Oh, okay, fair enough. What if I throw a snowball at it instead? He <laughs> <laughs> just like grabs its chest and falls over. Uh, Someone shoot that train. It's alive. <laughs> it grabbed its chest. <laughs> yeah, does the train die? No. Well, it's a demon. <laughs> do 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 do. When there's an arc and demon slaver about this, this is the way. There's a lot of stuff Which about two? ghost trains. Okay, what are there's you? There's a lot of twos over here. Okay, I think you're just looking at everyone. Look at that guy. As, He's know. pretty relaxed. Yeah, he has a moustache and doesn't shave often. <laughs> See, yeah, because that's that's the look you should have gone. What? You should have had your hair quaffed like his. Nah. Is there something special about a train? I feel like they really messed this up by putting it in, by setting it in the modern day. Because yeah. it just doesn't make sense. No, no, it doesn't. And you do need to be in Paris really soon. Yes. Oh, take the train. Oh, sweet. How long will it take me to get there? A couple of days? Because oh, there's a plane I could just hop on that will be there in like an hour. Oh, okay. So what is this guy? Are we paying attention? Nope. Well, oh, okay, so you have. What do you think he is? Is he a driver, a gardener, or a spokesperson? What does he look like? Well, I said he works for the Fortuna in Italy. Yep. That's as much as I listen. Okay. As for age, I'm going to go with 35. Smart, he doesn't look like a 19 year old. Um, Nationality. I wasn't listening. We were talking. One of those two. Oh, you got to choose one of them. Oh, we'll stick with that. It started with that. Yeah, we'll leave with that. You're bad. You literally said that he's still bad. What? What was I not? Both person? Yes, obviously. He doesn't. Does he look like a driver to you? And maybe he's just. He, a... You literally said, "Oh, he he said he worked in Italy, so he's Italian." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> you're an idiot. You're very bad at this. I didn't say I was good at it. I was. I told you I wasn't listening to it. Maybe he just got a job in it, but he's from France. No. Did you think about that? No, he doesn't look French at all. He looks Italian. I wasn't actually looking at. You're French. Oh well, yes. What did you with your French face and your French mustache? That's an Italian mustache. Okay, maybe I should pay attention to this. No. This is a boring conversation anyway. <laughs> you should shoot them. <laughs> yeah. Use the hand solo trick. What? The hand solo trick. Oh. Shoot them and then say this is a boring <laughs> conversation anyway. <laughs> yeah. He shot first. He still doesn't allow murder. <laughs> Boom. This was a boring conversation anyway. <laughs> and that's how I got fired from the primary school. <laughs> oh. Oh, damn, it's been a long day. My daughter speaks several languages, did you know? Seven. Oh, tell us about this lady. Who is she? A British person. What is her age? Oh, uh, looks right. This is when you were talking. <laughs> I don't know the answer to this. Okay, well, does she look like a mate? No, not really. I'm going to go with a new... Okay, now what age do you think she is? 40. There you go. There, see? <laughs> do, 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 do,
She's a self-contained. Did you know the last one? No, it's quite disappointing, actually. Yeah. Considering that's the second one, so that's five hundred dollars worth of controllers. Jeez. Murderer! I just kicked the table. I heard. But this is a masterpiece. I think you're supposed to look at the dessert. Yeah, look at the menu. Look at the menu! Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Could you imagine? Mm, no, it's vanilla ice cream. What is the red fruit, Chris? Yeah, good, 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 good. Call. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah. know the difference between a raspberry and a strawberry. I do. Oh, oh, oh it's down the bottom. Oh, no, who would have guessed? Is it crushed biscuits or chocolate mousse? <laughs> the biscuit is the best. Do you think it's a crushed biscuit? That <laughs> motherfucker's chocolate mousse if I've ever seen a biscuit made. <laughs> I'm starting to question whether this man is the world's greatest detective. <laughs> <laughs> I've got enough of the recipe and I could not make it. Because I'm a trained man, not a chef. Wish me to make a chef give up the chef's recipe, the chef recipe, if you will. <gasps> no. Da 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 da. E e. These guys just chatting like a pair of old men. I shan't allow it. Oopsie. Using sharp things again. Okay, you're gonna have to beat. You're gonna have to beat the inside out of it. Old school police <laughs> interrogation. <laughs> Tell me what I want to know. I don't know what's happening right now. What's she making you do? <laughs> She's telling you the recipe. Okay. Um. First, I melt sugar to make caramel. Which of these senses can say like? Then I spread this caramel on a. Okay. Uh huh. And a small scoop of the lemon ice cream. Mm hmm. Ho 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 ho, Chris. Ho ho ho. We know that's not true. Yeah. Cause we were so small, we figured out they were raspberries. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking geniuses. Gooseberry. <laughs> Not raspberries. How can you not tell the difference? They're very different fruits. What is this type of man that just eats a berry? What the hell are we looking? Are we, is we supposed to be seeing something? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> These people's hands. Look at them. Just sit there. Hey, which part was a lie? Which part was a lie? Uh, it smells like some butter. Chocolate into the bottom. Okay. 
and okay. then circle them up. Okay, that would make sense. And then cool down red hard. Well, I'd have to say that's the chocolate part. Because it's not chocolate, it's biscuits, my friend. Yeah. They could be chocolate biscuits. Why is she learning so much about a recipe? You want to give it away? <laughs> complex. It's complex. <laughs> complex. Come on. Mate, if you know so much about the recipe, why don't you just tell <laughs> tell your mate the recipe? Mate, you must catch some of the easiest murderers ever. Oh no, she's telling us she's lying. He just told us that solving the murder of a dude was easier than that. You just got the recipe. There you go, see. Oh no. Okay. Vanilla is added before the flour. Okay. Eggs are added first or last. Do you remember? I don't think she actually said about the egg. Orange peel comes later than the flour. Okay. You should never add sugar and milk consecutively. Sugar is added later than vanilla. Eggs and Orange peels are right next to each other in the recipe. Okay. Okay. So orange peels comes later than flowers, so eggs can't come first. Yes. So where do eggs come? Well, no, hold on. Difficult, man. I don't know. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go with eggs. Being uh, wait, um, yeah, first. Let's go first. First, we'll go first. You're an idiot. Boss. <laughs> <laughs> right next to each other. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, what comes before the flour again? Vanilla? Vanilla okay. is added just before the flour. And also later than sugar. Mm hmm. So if that's there. Yep. You should never add sugar and milk consecutively. No. So milk. Wow, oh, fuck. That's not right. No, it's not. I'm aware. Still not right. Okay, so that's what... Still not right. Uh, why not? Read your clues again. Oh, this is bad for milk, wasn't it? Read it again. Uh, that would be vanilla. No, oh, wait, vanilla. that's not. That is, yeah, fair point. Vanilla is the vanilla bean. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. All right. Then, okay, now read your clues. <laughs> okay. First to last, orange peel later than flour. Uh, should never do the consecutively. That's fine. Sugar is added later than vanilla. What do you mean that's fine? You've got your sugar and milk consecutive. No, I'm moving them. Just give me a moment. I should... Nope. No, that's true. What about? No. no. It's got to be last. Milk first, then. Uh -huh. It took us some time, but we finally got there. <laughs> I would give you a adequate at best. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> we shouldn't expect anything better than that. Ba -da -ba -da -da -da. Yeah. yeah, exactly. She's the slowest walker ever. 
Oh, let's examine some peeps while we at this table. Did you enjoy the meal? No. What? <laughs> <laughs> Did you enjoy the meal? No. <laughs> oh, fuck you. I don't want to have a conversation with you, actually. Distant. I didn't pay attention to that one. I'm gonna go there. Oh, I was right. Well, <laughs> there must be flying pigs. Or <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> oh. E, E. Hey, is that guy got like a busted hand or has he just got something on his hand? Oh, it's just his ring. Oh. Uh, uh, Americans. Oh. 40 year old American secretary. Yeah. American secretary. <laughs> Oh. oh, that symbol. I thought that was she was. I thought she was giving you a nap. History chefs read. And you too, with seven years, years of training, could make this too. <laughs> <laughs> because you know, even when you get a chef's recipe, it's like, oh, oh, it takes a lot of fucking work. It's like, oh, yeah, here's my recipe. And you're like, what? How come mine doesn't look as good as yours? Oh, well, it's all about this trick that we use. It's all about this training that I did. Oh, shit. Everybody's leaving. Oh, what are you doing, guy? Who does, what does that guy remind me of? He reminds me of someone from something. Is it Trevor? Sort of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, he could be, he could be classy, Trevor. Yeah. Agent Smith from the Matrix. Oh yeah. Old Agent Smith. Yeah. Oh, Mister Anderson. It could sound right too. <laughs> it's almost there. Not quite, but almost. I got money to tell you. Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention to shit. Oh, I did uh, No, yeah. Yeah, 62. No, it's not the 622. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pay attention to anything. Do you feel you needed to? Really? <laughs> no, I didn't. He's an American, he has a secretary, he's a businessman. Yeah. Do 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 do. And say some very cruel things about the Matrix. Uh, Mr. Poirot. Every time I see Poir Poirot, I think Parrot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Snap, <laughs> bitch, get on my face. Mr. Ratchet, I fucking hate you. You're ugly. <laughs> I don't associate with people who are ugly. <laughs> I got my glorious mustache. Obviously, I cannot associate with you. You don't also have the ability to grow one. Click. Nice finish you piece that quick. Yeah, now we're haunted mustaches. Yeah. 
one of those people doing, oh shit, Chris, you gotta get in there. There's stuff to be opened. Stuff to be opened. Excuse me, guys, I'm just coming into the kitchen. Don't mind if I do help myself to one of your bottles of whatever they are. I'm gonna grab it. And I'll leave it. Up. Guys. Guys, I'm just here to help out in the kitchen. There's a ghost. I, I didn't close that door. <laughs> Guys, when I get past, I need to open the fridge. Magic or self closing. I'll punch them. <laughs> Which is the punch button. <laughs> Oh, we've That's our first mustache of the night, boys. Oh, we found all three. Okay, fair enough. Maybe our last mustache for the night, guys. When did we find the other two? <laughs> I know I found one the first time I got on the train. I don't know where the other one was. I feel like... Those chairs would be incredibly uncomfortable. Well, more than likely. You there, yeah. barman. Oh. Oh, you're the worst guy ever. Why is that? Because he goes off at a nightcap and he had a coffee. Yeah, true. He should have had, like, a... What's the thing that the uh, French drink? Cognac. Oh, yeah. He should have had cognac. Where have we stopped? Oh, there's, there's, there's snow on the trail, so we don't want to derail. Well, we're not in Switzerland. What a nice young lad. How old he is? I think it makes sense. 60! <laughs> <laughs> Magnificent. Oh, sweet. Everything's perfect, thank you very much. Now if you excuse me, let's go with French elsewhere. <laughs> oh no, 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 no mercy. Go outside, go outside. <laughs> Pile some snow up in front of the train. <laughs> Gentlemen, I would like to squeeze through. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Move to a better compartment. <laughs> you. <laughs> you. <laughs> ah, if I step into first class, you little shits. Thank you. <laughs> Technically, you have to go through first class to get to second class, I think. Oh, that's... I don't know, I didn't look at the back of the train when we were there. Why don't you look in the back? Ah! Are you the creepy train guy? He is creepy. Can't even write things. I'm busted, <laughs> Oh, I didn't want what would they do? Dun, 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 dun. I can't act. <laughs> <laughs> he seems very upset. It's my room. Do I do? Oh, it is, it is second class. Okay. Second class. You second class peasants. Oh. Stupid peasants. Oh, what are we going here? Uh, it's not the best. Oh, okay. So it's it's the first class because you get your private room, but it's not like a suite like the other guys had. No, you don't. You, you only get a little bed. Oh, I wouldn't really go that far. Yeah. Quaro, thank you. Sure, it looks pretty comfortable, but where do you sit? Holy shit! The man has spectacular pajamas. He does indeed. We made of the finest stuff. 
Oh man, now it makes me want to be like a guy who has like actual proper pajamas and not just wears a pair of shorts to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but I live in the wrong climate for it. We do, we do indeed. Do do do. Inspect the corridor. Excuse me, monsieur. Zoom in, man. Holy shit. He's going to get sniped. I'm still looking at that. <gasps> He's magic. Oh my god, he got that so great. Right. He's probably also looking around. Wait, the door's open. Was the door open before? No. Freak now, man. There's ghosts on this tree. I'm not seeing anything else. I think you can leave now. Well, back to sleep. <laughs> Nothing to worry me about. <laughs> <laughs> it's 12.37. Oh shit, it's been like what? Less than an hour. Eight, 28 minutes? 38 minutes? 38 minutes. You have a smartphone yet you decide the way to travel is a train. Yes. What type of smartphone, though, is the real question. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, we stopped. Yes. Question. Make every. Well, that's kind of creepy, but it does give credence to the ghost train theory. Yeah. Bloody snow. <laughs> <laughs> you might say the snows. Derailed this whole operation. <laughs> oh no. Also, it does bring a lot more credence to the point that you should have taken a plane, Poirot. Yes. You know what can't stop a plane? Snow on the tracks. Let's just watch him. Watch him go back to his seat. Yeah. You're weird, man. So oh. he sits down. You reckon they modeled him sitting down or they just like had him magic in there? No, they oh, actually no, they, did, yeah. they planned for you to do this. Oh, okay. They planned for you to be a creepy fucking <laughs> pervert. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. Five minutes? That was a five minute conversation. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh god, no sleep at night. Oh fuck, it's, it's a classic night. <laughs> See, no, that's the correct reaction. Yeah. If it's just Woman again, complain about men. In what the hell? Who is that? <laughs> Inspects on the door, eh? Back in. I better get to sleep until morning. 2 a.m. 2 a.m. <laughs> I hate what I Oh, oh. We just keep. Holy crap. They really did run into a snowdrift. How did we not see that? <laughs> <laughs> what have we been saying? No, poor right, Go ahead and play in the snow. You, I reckon you could get a hefty, like, an. Look, that'd be a perfect place to snowboard. You just go straight down the mountain. Exactly. And in looking at the snowbank that the train somehow crashed into. What is this? Is that a mustache brush? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Just the way he said it. Um, was dash comb. <laughs> <laughs> I actually said brush, but yeah, yeah. it was a comb. Lost in there. Nicest guy if he wants to come play in the snow with you. Morning, Mr. McGill. <laughs> it's just cornflakes. He doesn't say anything different. No. He wants you to fuck right off. <laughs> I think he knew I was looking. Actually, you're in a different part, so there could be mustaches hidden around again. I think. I have no idea how this game works. But check the bathrooms. There's always mustache in the bathrooms. Just had to check there wasn't one on his face. Turn it with her. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> Rip it off. That was my plan. Just second class. <laughs> oh, we can't use the washroom in here. Which is crazy, because that's what you would, wouldn't you? Oh, is there something on the ground back there? No. Oh, weird. I don't, I don't know what you saw. I thought I saw a circle. Oh. Do, 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 do. We are running the train. Okay, let's have a look. Let's break this down. Okay, train two. Is where we are. Yes. With okay, train two has one big room. Train three has three big rooms. Then we've got the bar train that also has the lounge in it. Then we've got the eating train that also has a kitchen. And then we've got the on the the wheel and spanner train, which has rooms three hundred one and three hundred two, oh, which I'm must be where the that must be like the Stop. worst class, scum class. <laughs> Stop. We can call it scum class. Look out that window. Maybe there's a mustache in it. Is there any mustaches out there? No. Just a polar bear runs past. With the thickest mustache. I would, wouldn't it? Yeah. It would. It'd be glorious. I really wish there was like an option for opening doors so you could just like kick it in. I would totally do it. Boom. <laughs> Mr. Poro, what are you doing? Don't you worry, I've got this. The space between the train track, the, the, the cars. What are all these chumps doing? Being chumps. Fucking chumps. Nice. More chumps. Lost through. Oh, nothing but complaints. About the snow that is seemingly piled up in front of the only entrance into this mountain. I wonder why. <gasps> you play piano? A beautiful piano. What? You there, par man, tell me, why is there no one here to play the piano? I wouldn't... I wouldn't really call that well stocked. No, no, I wouldn't. Maybe if I was the only person on the train. I never talk to that lady. Wait, do you have to talk to that lady? Oh, I don't <laughs> What a way to start a conversation. I'm rushing. I do know I'm Mr. Parrot. Bow, bow, bow. Won't get fooled again. Where 
this must be quite troubling for you. I don't have to guess things, I don't. But look at that window. <laughs> mm. What a view. Look at this structure. That's a steel girder if I've ever seen oh, one. Oh, yes. So like just a little mustache in there, vexing you. <laughs> Come get me. I'll get you later. Bust out, baby. Actually, press the start button. Or like something like that. There should be something here telling us how many mustaches we need. There, three mustaches. Three mustaches per chapter, eh? We're in the dining car. <laughs> No! Wait, hopefully they meant that fellow with the moustache. Oh. What about breakfast? I came here for breakfast. Look here, parrot. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me what you know and you tell me what I want to know right now. Or I'll lock, stop, and two smoking barrels, you. Much obliged. Indeed. Okay. Mustache. 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 Dee, dee, dee. <laughs> Maybe they're in the kitchen. <laughs> Busting there. Where are my cornflakes? Where? <laughs> no, I can't get by again. I need to open that fridge. He's just got so much junk in that trunk. Hey, I'm a mustache. <laughs> mustache. Mustache. Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> <laughs> They thought they could hide it from us in the sink. <laughs> the sink. Also, where the fuck are my cornflakes? <laughs> my cornflakes. Those are probably cornflakes. Okay, okay, let's look at the tables. Well, it's probably not under the table. You did just find one in this compartment. There's only three per chapter, Chris. Yeah, they could be in the same compartment. I was about to say. I that. actually have no idea how chapters work in this game. Neither do I. Um, so it, maybe it's per day. Well, or just before the. Apparently, that happens. last one was part of the first, the last chapter we were doing. Nothing in the toilet. No. We need to check. Two o three. We checked in there. Already been there. You, your mustache. I can rip it off your face. <laughs> Make sure it's gold. By the way. Where do you keep your mustaches? Yeah. You are not concerned about the train shopping? You can push the train through. She has a great string. Yes. To parrot, eh? Yes, the parody list of parrots. Mm -hmm. yeah, the the moustache is probably in the and piano. You should probably hit it with her upper lip. No, nothing. Okay. You should probably hit it with something hard, like a, <laughs> like a baseball bat. See if it's in there. Or the human body. <laughs> Coming back through the sitting area. Oh, look at all these chumps sitting like. Chumps. Chump list of chumps. So polite to sit oh sitting sitting at tables. Oh. Just don't think it's just gonna be lying out in the open. No, that's why I'm saying well it was in like one of these the first time I had one on the train. Was it? Yeah. Well oh, there you go. Yeah. It was just sort of just like on the floor. I want to check that washroom. Well, rip your mustache off. It won't do well, you I any check good. this one again. Just make sure I didn't overlook it. Miss Sparrow, why do you always go into the bathrooms? Just in case there's a mustache in there. We wouldn't, we wouldn't like to leave a mustache behind. Well, this guy looks calm. I was told to meet him in the room. 
I like how calm he looks. Yeah. We have need of you. Need of me? What? Your passenger? Which passenger? He came to me but today and said, Someone's going to stab me. And I said, Dad, don't be foolish. Yes, yes. Is not is what was made for the police to secure the crime scene. I will take full responsibility. I heard a Sudoku, man. You just do Sudoku. Read a book. Yes. Let's go in. <sighs> this man oh is God. dead. <laughs> I always bring my latex gloves. Yeah. Yeah. He follows the dark art. <laughs> Wait, how do you know? Constantine. <gasps> There's Superman. He could get us out of here in a chippy. Because he does dark magic. So you can make Superman come. Yeah. No, Superman's weak to magic. Okay, well, who is this guy? Are you sure about that? Yeah. That's quick. <laughs> okay, Chris, best search this room for a mustache before. Well, of course. Anything else happens, we wouldn't want to. Uh... Leaving, though. We might need those. For oh, later. no, I would never have thought. Palm asleep, sleeping pills? No, no, take them before going to sleep. I would have. Uh... You can look at the safe as well. And that. Okay, the code is probably one, two, three. Ah, oh, shit, it's a four digit code. <laughs> we'll have to find out the code later. But what about the thing on the top? Oh, that looks like prime space for a mustache to be hidden. Why is that getting cold? Trying to be snow. It's pretty neat. Wait, what does the, what does the note say? Rabbit. Okay. Suddenly they turned into a butterfly and the flowers on the ground began to multiply. There were twice as many. I arrived at the front door. Front of a door that asked, if you want to get out of the forest, you must tell me how many flowers are left in the forest. How many flowers are left in the forest, Chris? Oh, I didn't mean the first part of it. 1,800. No. 950? No. She picked 10. Yep. Going in the forest of 1,000 flowers. Yep. Nine hundred. No, nine hundred and ninety. Nine hundred and ninety. That's that's what I said. Yeah. Okay. No, that's not the answer. Read the whole thing. Ah. Suddenly, the bouquet turned into a butterfly and flowers on the ground began to multiply. Oh, okay. So uh, eighteen, nineteen, nineteen eighty. 1980. Yeah. That's the code to the safe. That's 100% code to the safe. Okay, absolutely. But before we should steal these dice. <laughs> Maybe. 
kind of done. Let's get this mustache. Yeah. <laughs> we know how to break into people's safes. Read their through weird cryptic written clues. How you going there, bud? Oh, okay, there was no... Oh, oh, hold on, Chris. That's a lot of Benjamins. It is a lot of Benjamins. Sure. Okay. What worries me is that there was no moustache in there, and that's sort of what I was hoping for. Check garbage deliveries. Oh, hang on, you gotta get to the rabbit. I just wanna make sure it's alright. Whoa. Arriving in Venice. Weird. Chris, this is all getting a little bit too weird. Let me leave this with the real police. <laughs> Probably should. And a note. The same harm, your death is near, we never forget. That's written by a lot of people. Look at all the different handwriting. Yeah. Alright. Still showing like I haven't looked at everything. Oh, yeah, there was a the Venice thing. That was really important information, because his daddy's not going to make it to Venice. <laughs> Waro, you're a genius. Oh yeah, might as well look at this guy's dead body. Let me open the door. Okay, let's have a look at his, uh, under his bed. That's where I would always start my search. What have we got there? H. A napkin. That's a handkerchief, but... Oh, fine. But who's H? Mm -hmm. Ah, it's VAP. <laughs> it's not a VAP. Whoever did it was a vapist. Oh, right. there's, there's nothing to do on yeah, the bananas. Hey, hey, hey. Glass, eh? Let's have a look in the bottom of that glass. Yes. Probably sleeping pills. <gasps> a broken phone. No. Very, very interesting. Is that a pistol? It is. That is a FN57. <laughs> But he didn't use it, Chris. Because of the probably because of the sleeping pills. Probably shouldn't take sleeping pills if there are people on a train who want to stab you. Yeah, true. It'd be a bad and you're sleeping with a gun under your pillow. Broken watch. Oh, <gasps> one fifteen. I was awake then. So was Hercule. But what was he doing at 115? Mm. Talking to the man. <sighs> I was about to look. Do, 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 do. Everyone gets a stab. Thank you, Doctor. Can you, can you tell us about stabbing people? Okay. Talk to the doc. <gasps> the bit. Oh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Seems like a cat of some sort. Oh, let's put it together, Chris. I don't know why you're clicking on that. Yeah, okay, obviously you're not ready for it yet. Ugh. Ish. Now you're ready Jesus for it. Christ. Hmm? 
isn't it? No. You sure? It's an ear. Oh, fine. Put it up the top. No. Rotate it once more. There you go. Fine. We'll then put it up the top. Fucking numpty. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Fucking nailing it. Wow. In the corner. Corners. Oh. There. It's a good thing you're not an actual detective. Well, we'd be fucked. <laughs> yes, we would. This picture seems to be some sort of strange cat creature yes i'm not entirely sure exactly what it is i don't know why i pressed it way to go <laughs> oh daisy who is daisy mm, interesting very very mysterious why would you give someone a picture of a stuffed animal <laughs> No. You gotta talk to the doc. Oh wait, back to this again. I thought I thought I did something. Box of sleeping pills. Okay, that, that is not a box. Yeah, what is? But okay. Now talk to the doc and say, "Hey, doc, what's what's going on?" Okay, let's start with. But I must question you. I'm very French, you see. Link to the victim. Clues in the room. As well, I would have pulled out like the secret one and been like, oh, so you didn't touch this thing covered in your fingerprints. <laughs> I would say probably one fifteen. I think so. That's when he Wait, the window's open? Yes. Well, can we look at the window? No, because he's standing in the fucking light. Right, we'll just go to it. Oh. Oh, Uh-huh. So then we did not jump out the window and scuppe into the... No, way. Hmm. Oh, haven't finished inspecting the crime I scene. What else? What else? What else do I have? Okay, hold on. Ben. Talk to the doctor. On that, we've looked at the window. Shell? Anything in the shell? No, not the shell. Done with the body. The fuck? Maybe you have something in your in your things you're supposed to be doing. I can press to bring that up. The other button that you didn't press then? I did press the other button. How did he exit the room? Yeah, press the other button. Huh, that's weird. Press Y. Oh, yeah. Now it did. Okay. No, we've done all that. Okay. Maybe you gotta go back to the picture.
Um, okay, that's switch mystery. <laughs> that one, click on that one. All right, there's another possible exit to the room. Okay, that door, the window. Like the main door? Thank you. Thing next to the main oh, door? Yeah. Ugh. And now go to it. Now try now go back to the thing by pressing Y. See? Recap. Yeah, there we go. I know what I'm doing. Recap. Okay. Select two elements that reveal the most likely way the murder exited Mr. Ratchet's room. Okay, down. Yes. It all makes perfect sense. <laughs> Okay, the murderer was able to get into the connected room because the doors select two elements that reveal the most likely way the murder exits the room. Okay, so now you select. Try selecting the snow too. No, no, this, you need to get rid of the door one. Excellent. And Chris. And who else might have witnessed the escape? Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay, fine. Can I go this way? No, I go the other way. Well, I think you, you should. <sighs> no. Uh, you supposed to have a look at the connecting door. Oh, you've done that. Um. You're telling me to press this. Okay, go down to the two things. Click on that. I should. Okay. Click on the other one. Okay. Anything else? Oh, you. But was there something else? Oh yeah. There. Oh, god damn it. Okay. I'd like to have elements to uncover what happened the night of the murder. Yes. He drank some sleeping pill water. That wasn't found in his safe. Okay. There's nothing else. You didn't have anything else from his safe. You didn't have the pillow and the, the gun and the watch. What? Oh, okay. right, hang on. Hang on. Yeah, okay. That, what? Oh, of course, because the note and the gun. Right, that makes sense. Okay, now the sleeping pills and the watch. No. Okay, the alertness and the sleeping pill. Okay. Excellent. So someone... Snuck him sleeping pills. We were both confused by that. Yeah, one. we were, yeah. Because I had no idea what was going on. Oh, oh fucking more. Oh, uh, people who were his employees. Was he? Yes, both of those who are. No one else was employed by him. I was just double checking. Now we got to talk to both of them as well. I think now you can save an exit. 
think so. Because I think we've been going long enough. We've 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 cracked this case right open. We're not supposed to kill everyone on this stream. Bro, I want to. Okay, save Chris so that you don't lose any of your precious progress. Biggest mystery of this this game was solved. No murdering. We don't murder anyone. This one. Is Someone good. else was murdered. Yes. Let's stop. Hey guys, me again. Thank you for making it to the end of another video here on the channel. If you liked it, consider liking, sharing, commenting, or subscribing. If you haven't already, it really does mean a lot to us here. Um, as always, Chris is living up to his lofty goals of being an absolute numpty. And, um, yeah. That was a pretty rough one for me to sit through. I hope you guys liked it. Um, but once again, guys, I've been Darcy. Chris isn't here right now, but wherever he is, he is still Chris, unfortunately. And we will catch you next time right here on the channel. But until then, guys, see you later.